we met up with the dainty Diya Mirza as she gears up for her favorite time of the year, Diwali. Hi, I'm Diya Mirza and I'm here at the Pottery Lab to do something really special. As you all know, Diwali is around the corner and um, I decided to make my own Diyas this Diwali. So I'm meeting Rekha today. Hi Rekha. Hi Diya. <laughs> Thank you so much for making the time. What a beautiful it's a pleasure place to this have is. You here. Thank you. Thank you. This is just surreal. Uh, I don't feel like I'm in Mumbai to start off with. Just being surrounded by these big trees and this quiet, beautiful space and to be able to actually hear the birds is quite amazing. I know. <laughs> I never want to go home. I could just be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, tell me, um, working with earth, working with mud, I've always believed it's therapeutic and it's healing. I actually uh, fixed an injured finger uh, by working at the wheel many years ago. Tell me what got you started and what is it in a sense that you feel when you're at work? I think I was attracted to clay one because it's a natural medium so it feels extremely real to me and what I like about it is that it has a mind of its own. So you have to learn to work with the clay. You're not, um, you're not the boss of the material. You know, if you try doing that, it, it's going to like tip you over and tell you, okay, get rid of that ego yeah. and that's when I will let you work with me. So that's one of the things that I really, really like about working with clay. It brings you down, it humbles you every time you sort of go overboard. That's so true. I think all nature does that. It humbles you. I think the most beautiful thing about bringing a handcrafted uh, clay beer into your homes is the fact that you're working with nature you're molding something, you're creating something and you're celebrating beauty and synergy and light. And I think that's why I am most happy about being here today it's because I'm going to be able to craft my own beer. Let's get Excellent. started. Let's go. Yeah. Rekha, this brings me back to my school days. Uh, I went to a beautiful school in Hyderabad uh, that was based on the philosophy of Jiddu Krishnamurti. So a lot of our classes were held outdoors, uh, working with clay and pottery was a very integral part of our growing up years. Working with your hands is very different with clay from working at the wheel because the wheel is so much, this is what I've always felt when I've worked on the wheel that it's learning to uh, find the right balance and synergy with the apparatus Correct. and the clay. So it's all about control and knowing how much pressure to use and how little and all of that. And it takes some time and it's like muscle memory. It actually just feeds into you and it's very therapeutic. But working directly with clay in your hand is like discovery. It's just you and the clay. Handcrafted Bia is ready? Yes, absolutely. Lovely. Okay. And uh, are we painting? Okay. Huh? Because I, that's my favorite part. Okay. <laughs> what fun! What fun, what fun! After the fun and therapeutic session of molding eco-friendly lamps for Diwali.
Dia Mirza reminisces her fondest memories of celebrating the festival as a child and also makes a beautiful floral rangoli. My fondest memories of Diwali will always be uh, the time that I sp spend with my mother uh, counting down to the evening of Diwali, um, the lighting of the diyas, the decorating of the home, uh, the cooking of the good food. Um, I think when, when, when I was younger it was so much about getting new clothes and you know the excitement of uh, eating yummy food. But I think with time it's become more about just that evening prayer, thanking um, God, uh, lighting that first dia and just uh, feeling a great sense of gratitude and fulfillment. With awareness, a lot more people are going back to being more earth friendly. So a few of the things that we don't do as a family is uh, we don't light paraffin uh, candles, we don't light up the house with uh, decorative lights uh, because it's just a waste of energy. Uh, we uh, light earth made natural diyas with real tail and real cotton wicks. Um, so when I say diyas I also mean that you know your tickly hote, embroidery hote, we don't so we go, we, we basically, we've gone back to basics. That's basically how we celebrate Diwali. I wish you all a very happy, healthy, safe Diwali. Uh, please be conscious about uh, being friendly to your environment and making a difference. Diwali really is about spreading love and light and happiness and joy uh, and it really shouldn't come at the cost of our health. So be safe and enjoy your Diwali. Lots of love.